I'm going to show you how to add a mirror to your map in SFM. First, sub this workshop page. It's in the description, but you can find it on Steam as well. Open the SFM SDK and launch the Hammer Editor. Find the texture No Draw, and what you want to do is you want to make a block of No Draw. This is going to be your mirror. Go to the texture browser and look for textures named mirror underscore normal and mirror underscore normal underscore flat. Pick one of the two textures and apply it to one face of the brush. With the brush selected, press Ctrl and T. Then change it from a funk detail to a funk reflective glass, like this. It needs to be the entity in order to reflect. For added stability, set Disable Receiving Shadows to Yes, and Shadow to Yes if you want the mirror to be more into the world. The mirror should have a backdrop to it. Here, I'm going to make a nice wooden frame and make it look like it's a standard mirror. Here, I've put the mirror and the frame on the map. So, now I'm going to run the map. When you first go into SFM, you won't see the mirror. But, if you right-click the viewport and you draw, draw other entities, you'll see the mirror. Alternatively, if you press F11 or you record, you can see it. However, in first person, you cannot see your own reflection. You need to be in third. So, recording in third person, I can see the reflection, and I can observe it. Now, keep in mind that reflections are slightly darker than normal. So, keep that in mind. Keep in mind that your mirror doesn't only reflect the map, and the models. It'll also reflect particles and it will reflect light as well, making it pretty powerful. As you can see here, it reflects light. Some fair warnings. One, don't put two mirrors within view of each other because Source will only render one of them. Two, the mirrors do not reflect volumetric lights, so you can't do that. The mirrors are very prone to warping, especially with the skybox, so be smart about how you use it. And have fun.